Couldn't break the sleeve off. Hello and welcome to our final edition of Golden Score on this the third and final day of competition at the Antalya Grand Slam. I'm delighted to be standing alongside former world champion Loretta Doyle. Hello Loretta. Hello Sheldon. Well it just feels like we just left each other a minute ago <laughs> hasn't it but um, here it's all exciting because you get to you actually get to meet him in the flesh rather than from a screen and I'm really excited for the next ones coming forward. Well, I'm not going to keep you in any suspense. <laughs> I'm going to bring him bring him in right away. Aaron Farah, gold look medal winner look at in my face. the <laughs> under 100 kilo category. Jump in the middle here. Right. <laughs> Come between us. Congratulations, uh, Aaron. Uh, Loretta's going to be asking you the questions. <laughs> well, well, first of all, you're not that big really. You look bigger on screen. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations. What a fabulous performance and absolutely I think for me you're the man of the tournament as far as throwing is concerned do you realize 23 Grand Slam um, competitions you have competed in and within a period of a month you've got two Grand Slam medals that's the two results you have what are you doing that's different to what that you that they haven't done before what's the winning ingredient to this success um, thank you uh, at first. Um, I'm sorry for my English sometimes when I'm nervous, you know, I forget. Uh, I don't know what happened before. Uh, I was good uh, when I was junior. I started throwing big and then I come to seniors and I start losing. And then in my, in my mind, I, I just, I just ex started to accept losing. And this year, uh, uh, I, started, I started different. I started to work with more with Yvonne Bönisch. I started to work with Michael Winkler, you know. Uh, for uh, uh, gym, gym, so I get stronger and bigger, you know. And yes, and now it's just it's just happening, you know. And everything I have, God gave me everything. Uh, and in Portugal, I was I was down, I was finished because they they killed me, you know. And then I was there, and I say, okay, I go Tashkent, my last competition ever. I will quit after Tashkent, and then. I, I, st I just start throwing, you know, <laughs> and everything, everything happened. And then Valam, Valam did me bad in the final. I think I should win, you know, but he's an old man. He needs, he deserves <laughs> to win, you know. <laughs> like he's not here. <laughs> he's, he's the last one. He's, uh, and now I'm, I'm just happy uh, to win this tournament in this style. I thought you said you couldn't speak English. <laughs> yes, you know, sometimes when I'm nervous, I, I forget it and I speak easy English, you know, it's true English. So you're not nervous now because you speak, you're speaking well now. Oh, now <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you're a very, very nice guy, so it's oh. no problem. Oh, that's nice of you to say. I'll tell you what will also be nice if we have a look at some of your um, footage on the big screen. <laughs> didn't take very long did you you know i'm i'm very lazy fighter <laughs> i don't i don't i don't like to fight uh, it was 20 fast. seconds <laughs> and now i uh, i just go inside and, and try to throw and that's it, it's going well but look i think i i was two times or three times in osai and everybody escaped i'm just good in throwing i think i think you're very good in throwing <laughs> yes <laughs> yes that's maybe true for this fight, I was uh, looking forward because I like the Mongolian style and uh, it was happening well. But again, I think he will again uh, escape. Escape, yes. Ah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> just, just please just show my throws and not. Okay, we'll, we'll stick a little bit with the throws, but maybe you can uh, tell us a little about, about it, it's a plan. Because we saw with the Bulgarian, I mean, he knew that you were coming with that technique. He just couldn't stop it. You tried it twice. It was the second time you caught him. The first time, he, he, he kind of got out of it. And the second time, you still swamped him. <laughs> yes, uh, it's, it's, you know, every time again, it's surprising that uh, I do this technique so well. well that was against El Nahas. El Nahas, yes. I, he beat me twice. And he, he was very, he's a very good fighter, very clever fighter. And uh, I'm very happy that I beat him. And this is something a little bit different. Yes, you know, I'm I am i am a three three uh, three technique guy. 
<laughs> but this one, this one was good. I like this one. Yes, that one was nice. Ten seconds. <laughs> yes, they were, they were. They, like I said, I'm lazy. <laughs> I think it was harder picking up Yvonne Burnish at the end, wasn't it? Yes, she, she gave you a hard, harder contest. She's very heavy, you know. <laughs> don't, don't, ah, don't tell her. <laughs> right, so what, what's next for you? Uh, for me, next uh, will be preparation. Uh, I, I stay here, uh, preparation for World Championships. And then we have the, the second competition, I think one week or two weeks after is Grand Prix Linz, and it's the, uh, the second high point for, for Austrians now. So I, I hope I can show my judo there too when my family and mother is watching. I think we might have uh, a little bit more footage. Is that right? We, we, we do, yeah. Oh, for this fight, I'm, 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 so, I'm so sorry for Daniel because he, I, really, I really like him and he's, he's a good fighter. He can do so many things and he likes to throw big and then his elbow, I couldn't... Uh, I, it's it's just shit, you know. But yeah, he, that, but that that wasn't you. Yes, he I he I put his arm down trying to I avoid know, it. I know. But look look at him. He's I don't know what material he is because his elbow was yeah pushing. completely. He, he started laughing. I said like, how are you? He said like, ah, a little bit hurting, but I don't know. I said, go doctor. They look at the video and go doctor. But he he's he's crazy. Yeah. One more question from you. Well, then, I've got a Loretta. couple. <laughs> What's your favorite technique? Uh, <laughs> you know, um, I like Habaleli. Habaleli, this one mm -hmm. where yeah. I push, and in, in Germany, uh, in, in Austria, we say it Adler. You know, my coach told me, uh, learned it to me when I was young, and I said like, I don't want to learn body fighting. I, I don't like it. I don't. I can't do it. And he said like, no, I need to continue. And now, I'm the best body fighter. <laughs> <laughs> and the second question. The second question. Um, how long do you actually think you actually spent on the mat to get this gold medal? What was the total amount of time on the mat? You know, uh, Elna, Elna Haas was three minutes, I think, 10 seconds. Maybe, I think, a little bit under five. Well, this That's is a good guess. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was actually four minutes and 55 seconds you spent. So your medal cost you four minutes and 55 <laughs> seconds in total. So congratulations. That's also got to be a bit of a record, hasn't it? Yes, I, 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 think, I think in Tashkent I was even faster in final. Now you're showing off. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know, I waited for this interview a long time. <laughs> you don't know, but uh, I don't know. It's, it's just uh, going well for me at the moment, and I'm very thankful for this. And um, I'm s thankful for uh, Yvonne Bunish and because she, she always believed in me. She always sent me to competitions. I gave her no reason, but she believed in me, and now it paid off. Well, all I can say, that's a bit of girl power, isn't it, behind there? And ah. the, everywhere they say, wherever there's a good man, there's even a better woman behind <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Congratulations Thank on the gold medal. Much. Look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, Thank you Aaron Farah. Thank you. Right, well, we've got more of our ran roundup uh, to bring to you. And we've got a couple of people waiting in. Let's, let, let's go with Turkey's biggest, um, biggest success, <laughs> Kyra Biggest Sayed. superstar. Tara, come and join us. <laughs> yeah, come in. <laughs> you, well, you're the star. <laughs> you come in Don't the middle. Don't be shy. Salut. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you. Uh, Kyra, we're going to start with your win uh, over the world champion. That must have pleased you so much. I don't think your win over the, the world champion, yeah. Roman Dicko, that must have made you so happy. No, I'm so excited also because we are at home and uh, all the we have, the we was behind the I was behind my public and uh, so great energy. It was an amazing day for me. So I also, yes, I'm so excited. And it's a uh, really good, uh, good mean for the World Championships uh, to Qatar. Kyra, it, it sounded like there were thousands up there. It, w it wasn't the biggest crowd, but they were so vocal. I think I, it was uh, uh, the, um, some children from many clubs here. You know, uh, now Turkey uh, judo starts to be a bit more famous. Even we are more successful, so, so it was great to have a wonderful public. Just before you went out to face uh, Roman, uh, did you, uh, it, had it been someone not from France, had it been a different world champion, do you think you would have felt uh, any, any different? Was it extra special because it was a, a French fighter? No, I didn't fight something was different. So just uh, also we fight three times and the first three times I'm lost also. 
and uh, I think it was the second time and uh, I, th I think I'm growing up and uh, I think it will be again also better for World Championships to Qatar. Let's have a look uh, and see if we can get some footage from the final uh, for you. That must have been a, a special moment coming out knowing that you already had a medal for Turkey, but there was a chance for the gold medal and the only one that they were going to win. <laughs> yes, it was amazing and really wonderful uh, uh, energy here also. Uh, the first two days it, we was not so successful, so we wa they was waiting for us also for the, for the last day and finally we, finally we have three medals, so it was the great, great hand for Turkey. She scored early in, in the yeah. contest. True, that, that is true. She's a bit uh, surprised me because I was not waiting that about her because normally maybe we fight maybe four times together and uh, I was not uh, attentive uh, this time and she surprised me also but after maybe when my t-shirt's broken, I... I, I Loretta said exactly <laughs> the same thing. Maybe that's a good and thing that you can take some time to prepare. Even it's exactly what I say when, when this happened. So, great. Yes, that's what I think <laughs> was the turning point for you. Yeah. It was then when you had the, the rip of the T-shirt, you had time to go out, reflect what yeah. you were doing, pull yourself together and concentrate on the match at hand. And it was the, the major turning point. That, that, that was a lifeline. Yes, yes, it was exactly that. Because uh, during the match, I, was, I was didn't expect that also she makes a tactic like that. So when I go outside, I was like, whoa, what's happening? Uh, what I need to do? Because she was also so fast and uh, it's time to, to find a, a new strategy because it was new for me. And also it was really some, something nice for me to So thank you. <laughs> yes, she, at the beginning, obviously, you came out and you were determined to win. And I think the biggest mistake, what I personally felt, was that you ran onto her to just yes. finish it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> she, she surprised me also. I wake up uh, very fast and also we, ha we are at home, so everybody waiting for me. And also, uh, I was exciting also to win the, the, gold, medal, the gold medal here and uh, behind my public. Definitely. Well, you've actually graced our tatami for many, many years and have won many medals. Obviously, you have won a gold medal in a Grand Slam before. How different was it winning this gold medal here in Turkey with this crowd behind you? Because they were very vocal. It was so passionate and it was a wonderful experience for us. How did it feel for you? Oh, it was so emotional also, yes. It uh, give, give us also, not only for me, but also for the athlete when we are at home. I think this is make us growing up and this is amazing energy. So it was really nice because uh, my day was not starting really good. I was not so good my last uh, few days because I was a bit sick and also it was so excited also when uh, I hear the public and, uh, and uh, say, come on, Kaira, we can, let's do it. We can do it. So thank you, my public, Turkish public also. So they obviously believe in you, and now we've got the World Championships knocking on the door. What is going to be your preparation and build up for a medal at the World Championships? Uh, you can ask. Thank you very much. What is your prep? What is your oh, preparation? preparation for World Championships? Uh, now we are going to have four days a bit uh, rest, and we are going to Japan for three weeks now. So we're going to Japan for three weeks, and uh, after we will go directly to Qatar. Right, well, congratulations on the gold medal win here. Good luck with the training in Japan, and we look forward to seeing you in uh, Doha. It was nice, thank you. Okay, congratulations. congratulations. Kyra Sayed, gold medal winner in the wow. plus 78 kilo category. Right, we're going to make some uh, space here, because coming up next, faster than a speeding bullet, more <laughs> powerful than a locomotive, and able to leap tall buildings in a, soup, in a single bound, no, it's not Superman. It is Noel Fanta End, gold medal winner in the under 90 kilo category. And we're going to bring in Yellow Snipper as well. You may as well come both together. We'll get <laughs> the two Dutchmen in. <laughs> I hope you don't mind me uh, reminding people at home about the Superman. No. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and, and it really was today. It was a terrific performance. Congratulations. Congratula congratulations to you too, Yellow. We'll begin uh, with Noel. We were looking at the results over the last uh, period, Paris Grand Slam, an, an amazing um, a feat to, co uh, to complete, and then following it up here with another Grand Slam gold medal. You must be absolutely delighted. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm very happy. Um, I win two Grand Slams in, in two, three months. Uh, it can't be better. 
w w was there a time when you were concerned? If you look back, you know, eight months ago, ten months ago, there were some doubts? Of course, there's always doubts. Uh, if you can continue, you have small injuries or big injuries. Can I still perform at this high level? And uh, uh, we, yeah, top sport, you need to adjust every time. So um, train harder or train smarter or train a little bit less or get more rest or you're always adjusting. And, and yeah, you get some doubts sometimes if it's the right process. So, so, uh, so now that we've got Yella here, I'm going to ask him, a, this will be an interesting thing. You can help with the interview. How much of Noel's fights did you see today? Did you see many? Uh, I saw a couple. I saw his final. It was a very nice one. Uh, no, I didn't see all, of course. You're busy also yourself preparing for all the fights. Um, I'm trying to think which one I saw. So I saw the final and also saw the first one. But for the rest, I didn't really uh, see uh, that much of it. And then before you came out for your own final, had we already had the awarding ceremony? Did you hear the Dutch, Dutch national anthem? Yeah, I've heard it. I've Any heard inspiration it. there? Yeah, of course, yeah, it inspires. No, it's always nice uh, if Dutch people get the medal. Um, and yeah, well, uh, preparing for my own fight, I was hearing the national anthem, so that's nice. Right, so let's look at uh, Noel's action then. <laughs> Yeah, this was my first round. It was a good one. S second round already. That's I didn't see that one. That's good. No, <laughs> nor, nor did he. I didn't see that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, he was very strong. So, yeah, it, it was working, wasn't it? It was working. It, all my yeah. attacks were working. But I, yeah, I needed to work him. He was in deep. It was. He was very strong. I was surprised. Yeah, that was Artem Bubia, the Ukrainian. Yes. Tried to counter me. Ah. It's good. He couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take a look at some of the footage from the, from the final. Can't be much footage, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts when you're, you're walking out there? Yeah, I just think I'm going to take that goal home. I, I need that gold, man. Like, oh, it's a very nice soda. <laughs> that is uh, th completely trapped the sleeves there. Yep. And, and not, I mean, I it's not as though you are unknown to him. He must have known that this is uh, a go-to technique that you have. Yeah, of course, he must know this, but I have more techniques, so I, I surprised him with this one, I guess. And had you been on with him before? Because he's, he's quite young, isn't he? I think he's very young. No, I, uh, many uh, competitors I had today, I didn't fight them uh, before. So that was actually very nice. It's like I fight new people. Yeah, and and a, a different a, a feel. A different feel gives yeah. me new inspiration and uh, new things to do. Because normally I fight always the same people, the same uh, top competitors. And now there's some new ones. And that's, uh, I think that's cool. Well, we've been studying your progress throughout the years. And obviously, when you won that World Championships back in 2019, that same year, you won your first Grand Slam gold medal as well. Now, within a period of a few months, a few weeks, you've actually won two Grand Slam gold medals. And we're just on the doorstep of Doha, the World Championships. Do you think this is a bit of a good omen for you, considering that's how it all started for you there when you were up there at the top of the world? Yeah, of course. The first time I, w I won the Grand Slam, and a few months later, I have I had the World Championships, and I won that. And yeah, I hope I can repeat that now with two uh, Grand Slam medals, uh, goals. I hope I can repeat it in Doha in uh, four weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not long. Four weeks and four weeks preparation. What does that mean for you? What will you be doing in those four weeks in leading up to Doha? Uh, first, we need to recover very good because. Uh, uh, a tournament like this is very intense. Uh, so a few days of good recovery, and then we're gonna train hard. And a week before the the competition, before the Worlds, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah we say it in Dutch uh, build it off, but <laughs> we're gonna uh, do a little bit less and uh, recover very good. So we're on the at the tournament we're on point. Now going to Doha, will there be any family members, friends, everything? Will there be a crowd following you over to Doha? Yeah, always. Uh, my dad is here with his best friend al also. He follows me everywhere. 
So, uh, yeah, he's going to be there. I think my girlfriend will be there. Um, my brothers will be there. So, yeah, we always bring a, a good crowd. Well, we look forward to watching you at the World Championships, and I know you'll do extremely well. So, based on this performance, good luck, and we'll see you there. Thank you very much. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about Yelenau and uh, his performance, because, you know, it's, it's first big-time Grand Slam gold medal f uh, for you. You're joining a very, very uh, successful team with a real big history. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it's been a great day, really. Um, honestly, I didn't expect this morning to take gold. Uh, I was hoping to to get far in the competition and hopefully fight for the medals and take one home. But I have to be honest that I didn't wake up with the feeling today is going to be the day that I take gold. So it's been a uh, great day. I'm really happy. Um, and it's a really nice follow-up after Budapest last year where I got silver. We can look at uh, some of that uh, action from the semi-final with Ivani Matiashvili. He's been around for a while. Yeah, it's the first time I saw this one. I didn't see this one yet. Yeah, yeah. I think it was uh, just when the time was running out. So I was quite, uh, it was a nice timing. What's it like? Because you, uh, we, we described you as being uh, from the athletic uh, build of the super heavyweights. You know, slightly different to Matiashvili. I don't mean to be disparaging to Levani, but um, you are slightly different in, in stature. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I um, switched weights, I think, now three years ago. Um, of course, I come uh, from minus 100. Um, and I just tried to use that athleticism. Um, I tried to be very quick, very fragile. Um, just use, uh, move a lot um, and try to m make them make mistakes. Well, it, it, it's a good move to make because you follow in the footsteps of lots of people who've moved up from 100 uh, to plus 100 and taken, taken medals. Yeah. Lucas Kopalik, um, or Sasson, I remember speaking to Orr and saying, you know, go up and, and, and do 100. But we heard yesterday that Teddy was moving down. <laughs> yeah, you, you guessed that one, yeah? Okay, well, we'll leave that then. <laughs> right, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can get some footage from the final. Let's see how this... Uh, you fought him before then? I, uh, <laughs> Teddy or Roy? <laughs> <laughs> let's try with, try with Roy. Uh, not in competition, of course, we train a lot. Um, I would say two sessions per week, three sessions per week, and then maybe two or three randories uh, every session. So, of course, we know each other quite well. We did the warm-up together also today. Um, yeah, I, I was thinking about that. You were probably warming up together. Yeah, we did warm up together. I mean, like it's not the first time that we warmed up together, and um, it's not like we have that many secrets uh, for each other anymore after training for so many years together. So yeah, we just decided to uh, do the warm-up together. And Loretta and I were both saying that we felt that the Uchimata Ojigari combination would be the one that w would score, and that was the one that took him in the end. Yeah, I think uh, also in the beginning of the match, it was quite close to scoring. Um, and then, yeah, Golden Score started and uh, went for it again. And he tried to take over, and I could just um, yeah, throw him on his back. There's a little bit of that disbelief that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah. You weren't that sure that you were going to make it there. Yeah, it's nice to see. I didn't see it yet, so it was really nice to see these uh, emotions come out. Yeah. And the other thing was that he was very, he was very graceful in, in, in defeat, Roy. He took it well. Yeah. You know, it's not easy for someone who's lagging behind to come in and knock him off the spot and take his gold medal. Yeah, really good spirit from Roy. Um, really good guy, uh, and I appreciate how he, uh, how he took it. Yeah. Oh, nice chatting with you, Yellow. Nice chatting with you again. Good to see you on the on the top spot, and welcome to the top spot. Thank you very and much. thanks very much for joining us on Golden Score. We're going to let you guys get back to the hotel. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank Take you. care. Thank you. Right. Well, let's see if we can um, take a look at the closing medal table then. And uh, your thoughts, Loretta, on those placings? Because we had the most ama yeah. amazing opening day for France. Well, most of those medals were on that first day, weren't they? It was just one after um, five weight categories, four gold medals. Um, that was definitely going to be something to beat, wasn't it? And Chimeo then added that extra fifth gold medal. So, yeah, for them as a team, with the Olympics just around the corner, really, it's a great it's a great positive attitude and position for the, the French team, especially the men. I think the French men overall fought extremely well. Mm -hmm. And we're watching more and more of the, the world tour and we're seeing the Frenchmen starting to come stronger and stronger each event we're coming. So it will be, it's going to be very tough, very tough for the, um, to knock off some of one of these um, French in the um, obviously Olympic Games and that's where they're all heading for and preparing for. Hence the reason we're seeing lots of participants
taking part in these events. And always nice when the host nation is able to take uh, a gold medal, especially on the final day, the fans like that. Oh, definitely. It, it brings atmosphere and the majority of the people that will be in that stadium will be French. And as we know, we've been to many of the Grand Slams in Paris. We know what the atmosphere is like. We know how knowledgeable the crowd is. And it is the place to go. For, other than everyone says like Japan, Tokyo is the place to go for judo. But also France is a place to go for judo. It is a wonderful experience. It's a wonderful atmosphere and a very knowledgeable crowd. And um, yeah, they're going to be hard to beat on their home soil. Um, yes, it be, will be interesting. Okay, that's all that we've got for you from this edition of Golden Score. Join us again when we're back on the IJF World Tour, wherever that may be, possibly in our Doha. We look forward to your company then, but Floretta Kusat doyle all the broadcast team here in Antalya. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Couldn't break the sleeve off. Oh.